welcome to the EU External Anti-Corruption Promotion, a case study on Moldova. In this series of five podcasts, we will discuss corruption and EU efforts against corruption in Moldova. This project is supported by the Eurasia Lab and Fellowship Program of the Institut für Europäische Politik. I'm Eliana. And I'm Mihai. And we are from the Moldovan German Forum, a Kishino-based, non-governmental organization whose aim is to enhance the European integration process in Moldova. Eliana is an international security analyst and researcher. Her main interest lies in disinformation and media literacy, especially in Eastern Europe. Mihai is a PhD researcher at Ghent University and an independent consultant. Moldova is one of the most corrupt countries in Europe. Widespread, endemic, high-level corruption, Moldovans' mistrust in state institutions and two major banking fraud schemes that occurred between 2010 and 2014 represent major internal shocks with ongoing repercussions. For the EU, which pursues its policies towards Moldova through the Eastern Partnership and the Association Agreement, aiming at political association, economic integration and legislative approximation, tackling corruption is a top priority. In the context of ongoing corruption backsliding in Moldova, there seems to be a gap between the EU's self-proclaimed ambition to tackle corruption and the status quo of corruption issues on the ground. In the next five weeks, in five podcasts, we will analyze the underlying reasons for this gap, focusing on the EU's anti-corruption legal toolbox. In other words, we will try to find out whether the EU actually has what it takes to tackle corruption in Moldova. More specifically, we will talk about two policy areas, a more technical policy area where the EU seems to have a lot of legally binding instruments against corruption, namely the policy against fraud for the protection of the EU's financial interests, and a politically highly sensitive area where the EU has no instruments whatsoever, the policy area against illegal party funding. Our goal is to present our research findings in an appealing way, reach a wide audience and spread awareness about a relevant topic such as corruption. And not only. Countries from the Eastern Partnership share many common issues and prevalent corruption is one of them. It is our objective that the results of our project bring common solutions to common problems that can be disseminated for all Eastern Partnership countries. This refers especially to Georgia and Ukraine, which enjoy similarly advanced and institutionalized relations with the EU and also suffer from deeply rooted corruption. We hope you will join us while we dive into the extent of corruption and EU anti-corruption efforts in Moldova. Talk to you next time.